The transfer of large clusters of genes from one organism to the next is often quite challenging even when the phylogenetic distance between the organisms is very small. However, there are many examples of gene clusters that are modular and can be transferred without a refactoring effort. In this study, Cannon and co-workers identified gas vesicle genes from a gram-positive bacterium Bacillus megatherium, and they functionally transfer the entire gene cassette to E. coli. The bacilli and E. coli are about as far apart as you can get on the phylogenetic tree while staying within the prokaryotic kingdom. Thus, it is somewhat surprising that these genes transfer. Often the difficulties in transferring clusters of genes are regulation problems or caused by the inability of the recipient organism to express atypically large proteins. When the biochemistry of the cluster is fairly simple and does not involve extensive internal regulation, turning a foreign gene cluster into a microbiological device can be quite easy. Gas vesicles are intracellular, protein-coated, and hollow organelles permeable to ambient gases. B. megatherium has a gene cluster encoding an 8,000 base pair cluster encoding 15 putative gas vesicle genes. The authors identified this gene cluster while doing transposon mutagenesis on megatherium. Megatherium is a polyhydroxyalkanoic acid overproducing strain, and extensive biotechnology work has been done since the 1980s to produce PHAs at a sustainable plastic material. And indeed, there are companies that produce the product. In one of their hits, the transposon had inserted at a site next to these gas vesicle genes, so they decided to clone out the genes and examine what they did. Interestingly, B. megatherium itself doesn't make gas vesicles, but when they move the genes into E. coli, they get production of gas vesicles. When you examine the bacteria by TEM, you can see the little vesicles. At right, you are looking at a bacterium zoomed in. At the top of the image, you can see the septa where the bacterium is dividing. The white bubbles are the vesicles. Phenotypically, these vesicles cause bacteria to float in their media. If you allow an E. coli culture to sit on the bench top without agitation, the bacteria will settle to the bottom of the tube. However, in the strains that contain gas vesicle genes, the bacteria stay afloat. They go on to dissect the gene cluster by examining truncations from the 5' and 3' ends. From this, they can trim the device down to only 11 genes. Further studies have done more extensive analysis of this gene cluster, systematically removing genes, and it turns out that only eight of them are needed to produce vesicles in E. coli. Very little is known about what the individual genes do from a molecular function perspective, but that does not limit our ability to use this device as a functional actuator for making bacteria float. Indeed, this device has become quite popular within the iGEM competition.